Welcome ladies and gentlemen to come to our channel and the topic we bring you today is very interesting with about 5 minutes watching videos you can get so many tips for your skincare and healthcare Have you all have a good day now enjoy our videos reconstructing the skin afterwards to give you the best cosmetic result with the smallest scar so Khloe Kardashian didn't have to go see a plastic surgeon for this. And this does not necessarily guarantee that she will have a better cosmetic outcome. And many people do not understand this. In fact, there is a lot of overlap in what a dermatologic surgeon and a plastic surgeon are trained to do for skin surgery. So during dermatology training, we undergo extensive training in skin surgery and functional and cosmetic repair of the skin. And some dermatologists, like myself, go on after residency to do even more training in the subspecialty area of skin cancer and surgical reconstruction of the skin. This is called a micrographic dermatologic surgery fellowship. And then we take another board exam to become board certified skin cancer surgeons. This is what I did, and that is really the main focus of my dermatology private practice. I diagnose and surgically treat skin cancer and tumors of the skin. So if you have skin cancer, especially on the head and neck, make sure you understand the skill level of the doctor that is treating your condition. Oftentimes, this is a dermatologic surgeon. So to finish this saga, Khloe Kardashian had a surgery done on her skin by a plastic surgeon. Presumably the plastic surgeon cut out this entire tumor, however big or small it was, and then used stitches to sew the skin back together. She even said that the margins were clear, which means that the entire tumor was removed and this was likely verified by a dermatopathologist. You see what happens when a tumor is removed from the skin is it's then sent to the lab just like the biopsy and the dermatopathologist again looks at it under the microscope to see if the entire tumor was removed. If the surgeon got it all out, the dermatopathologist will say margins are clear. That means that you are done with the surgery. If they say margins are positive, that means you still likely have tumor on your skin and need further treatment. So this was great news for Khloe Kardashian. Her tumor was fully removed with clear margins. So then what happens is she is now going to let that wound heal and is now in the scar healing phase. So when stitches are used, if they are not dissolvable, they will typically be left in the skin on the face for about a week, then they are removed. The good news for Khloe Kardashian is that the skin on the face tends to heal very well and scars can often be barely noticeable over time, but it is a long healing process. A new scar is going to look red and raised and then gradually over time, this starts to settle, flatten and really fade to be closer to your natural skin color. There are a few things that you can do to help your scars heal better and to improve the cosmetic outcome. First, follow the wound care directions from your surgeon very precisely. That usually means you should keep it covered with a plain ointment over the sutures or the stitches like Vaseline or Aquaphor or even Vanacream ointment, and then a bandage on top of that while the stitches are in place. Again, follow the directions of your surgeon 